Hey guys, Spike here, and in this third episode of the Gold Gun Review for Black Ops 2, I'll be doing the Fector K10. And if you don't know anything about the series, it's where I take guns and get them gold. By using the gun, I do spend quite a bit of time with them, so I'll be telling you what I found works best on the gun. So let's begin. The Fector K10 is unlocked at level 16, so you unlock it near the start of the multiplayer ranks. The Fector K10 is for people that rushes into the enemy spawn and sits or runs around the spawn. Now moving on to the specs of the weapon. Weapon class, it's a submachine gun. The damage dealt is between 33 and 18 and that is dependent on how far you are from the person you are trying to shoot. The reload time, if you have ammo in your gun it will take 1.9 seconds to reload and if it is complete empty it will take 2.62 seconds to reload. So it is always best to reload when you have ammo in your gun otherwise it will take longer to reload. Rate of fire is at 937.5 rounds per minute, with rapid fire is 1420 rounds per minute. And the recoil on the Fector is very low making it easy to take out targets as it would only climb upwards very slow. Ok let's begin making the class for the Fector. So we're going to start with the wild cards, so first you want to put on primary gunfire. This will allow you to put on another attachment onto the primary gun. In our case, it's the Fector. The second wild card is Perk 2 Greed. This will make you run two perks from the Perk 2 slot. Moving on to the perks now. For Perk 1, you want to be using Lightweight, and this will allow you to run faster than normally, making it a good choice of when you are rushing, as it will make you get to the enemy faster, making a surprise attack. For Perk 2, as we could use two of these, because of the perk 2 greed wild card, you want to be using toughness and this will make you flinch less when getting shot at so you could stable your aim and fire away at the enemy. And for the second perk 2 you want to have scavenger on and this will make you resupply ammo of dead enemies that have been killed by non-explosive and this will help on the gun because the ammo grows very quick so you need something to replenish that ammo. Now for perk 3 you want to be using dexterity and this will help you climb ladders and obstacles that are in your way faster, also granting you a faster aim down sights after running, which could help on this gun. Okay, now moving on to the attachments that you want to be running with. First attachment is long barrel, this is unlocked at level 10. Now this will increase the damage of the gun when shooting at people at different ranges, making it killing people faster. Second attachment is fast mag, this is unlocked at level 5. This makes the reloads faster and if in the spawn and you need to reload in a sticky situation then you could quickly go behind cover, reload, pop out and kill them. Third attachment is foregrip, unlocked at level 7. This makes the gun have less recoil when aiming down sights, so it will be easier to take out longer distance enemies and just makes the gun more controllable. For the secondary and equipment I don't use anything for them as I find they don't help enough than having an extra attachment and perk and because you are using scavenger having no explosives on will make getting the scavenger bags easier as all the kills are from your gun. Ok so moving on to the last part now and that is the score streaks. For the score streaks you could use anything you prefer but I like to use score streaks that are going to help me and my teammates. So the first one I use is UAV, this will help you know where everyone is so you could plan how you're going to go in to their spawn and know who you're going to take out first of course the closest one to you and it could help your teammates if they are moving into their spawn and want to take out enemies then they will know where they are second one is hellstorm this will help when taking an area of enemies down as it is a rocket and it splits up into multiple rockets to take to clear out an area third one you could use lightning strike this will help take out three locations on the map helping you and your team makes because you could place one where you are and you could place the other two where your teammates are or you can put on FISA and this will reveal all enemy locations on the map and the way they are facing so you could just take them out as you know what way they are facing so you could go behind them and kill them so yeah hope you enjoyed this episode and hope to help everyone that is using Effector K10 or wants to use it and in the next episode I'll be doing the MSMC so stay tuned for that and see you later.